geht so. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you for like literally all your support or you're getting so much support and thank you so much for almost 100 views on my last video. Also, thank you for all the sweet comments. But anyways, today I'm going to be doing like a how-to beginner guide on Horse Valley just in case some of you new players want to play it and try it for fun. But anyways, let's get into it. We're in Horse Valley and as you can tell, not in my normal account. So basically, I just made like a total random account to sh actually show you how to play because I feel like it would be weird if I just like totally said random stuff. But yeah. So when you first join, it might look a little weird. You're like, whoa, where am I? But yeah, so basically this is your stable where your horse can sleep. And like once you get your horse, you can open and close stables, feed them, everything. So when you first join, you want to follow these arrows over here. And as you can see, I can buy this morgan for 10 coins since i have a thousand so yeah this is your first horse the morgan and as you can see there are a bunch of other horses you can buy those in the future with money that you will be able to get you're gonna go ahead and press the mount button and then press that question mark and you want to reach swiftness level one so show help follow the arrows once again your horse is going to be a little slow because this is where this comes in, where you have to train them. Okay, so basically, you just want to follow the stars. And then you should reach level 1, and that's when you can press the question mark and complete your task. You can complete more tasks as well to get other coins. But for right now, we're just going to follow the tasks that are already on the screen. So as you can see, it says now we have to reach agility. So... If you're wondering, this is the swiftness area where all the barrels are, and that's how you level up their speed. So right now we're gonna go to the agility, and the agility is the poles over here. And this will level up like you're turning. So as you can tell, my Morgan cannot turn very well. And that's where agility comes in. So all you wanna do is follow the stars once again. I'm struggling just just a little bit here. Um, go back over to the question mark and you complete for more money. And now it says go to strength. So agility helps with turning, swiftness helps with speed, and now strength helps with jumping. So if you're familiar with Roblox, all you have to do is press this button to jump. And my Morgan cannot jump very high. So that's why we have to level up in swiftness now. And all you have to do is try to jump over these. We did finish the task, so we're going to go ahead and complete that. And now we want to go to discipline. I actually don't know how to pronounce that. Discipline. 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 So don't yell at me if I can't pronounce that correctly. Now we're over at these like round pen things. I don't know what they're called. You just wanna want to follow the stars once again, and this will help like with the going fast. So as you can see, like there's these things at the side, like there's a star, a plus and a minus. So to move, you wanna go, to move forward, you wanna plus, and then to stop, minus. And then to move backwards, you just press the minus. Sorry, I got a text message. You press the minus, go backwards, and then to stop, you press the plus. It's a little complicated. If you play, you will get it. So, and the stars for later things, for like dressage moves, there are dressage in this game as well. And we'll get to that maybe in another video if you guys want more. Right now, I'm just really going over the basics and everything. You want to do is follow stars. And like I said, this will help your f horse like go faster. So as you can see, I can't like go that fast right now like i can't start up faster but once you level up to the full max level 20 you can like literally get a really good start so i feel like the most important thing to work on right now would be agility and swiftness because that's what i do first P complete the quest as you can see i don't have any more tasks for right now 
And right now, I'm going to teach you how to take care of your horse. So let's go back over. And also, sorry for the background noises, guys. It's the fan. <laughs> but anyways, to dismount your horse, since I don't think I went over this. Oh, okay, I have a bunch of stuff. Since I just joined, there's a starter pack and all that stuff. Okay, um, I just got bombarded with things. But to dismount, you just press the... Um, little circle your profile should be at the bottom press that and you will dismount yeah that that's what you're thinking it that's 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 the horse's poo poo and to pick that up you want to go to your inventory press the shovel equip it and shovel and look you just pick that and with your poo poo horse poo poo you can sell it for money. So you do want to collect these because they are pretty expensive. You can get 100 coins for just one. Okay, yeah. And once you do that, 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 was, even, that was even a task. As you can, yeah, so just get money for that. Anyways, how to feed your horse. Let's get to that. So if you want to, like, you can see the health. He's not very hungry, but still you want to feed him. So you want to come over here and take the hay. There all there are also other ways to get food. There's apples that you can buy. There's sugar cubes that you can buy and all of that. And I think yeah, you can go to those hay barrels over there to get more free hay. But I would just stick with the hay because it's free and I don't want to buy food. <laughs> yeah, so you just take it out of your inventory and then press and then you're feeding your Morgan. So realistic. Okay guys, now I'm gonna show you how to get water for your horse, because my horse is thirsty. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna walk out here, like the back entrance, and to this well over here, tap, and there you go. You filled your bucket. And now you wanna take it back to your horse, tap, and that's how you give them water. And I, my horse was thirsty and I had a task for that. So I got another $100. Like, you guys have to complete your task. Like, it's good. But like, I, what if you want to name your horse? Okay. Go over to that, like, like the rider helmet. Press on it. You should see the Morgan and then that little pencil mark. I'm gonna press that and you can name your horse whatever. I'm gonna name my horse Brownie. And there you go. But if you wanna do your avatar, see down at the bottom that says horse, press rider, and there you are. So I'm just gonna like customize my avatar real quick. Um, I have the money to do so. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But if you wanna change your name, same thing. Look at that. I'm gonna put my name. And there you go. That's how you customize your avatar in that. But what if you wanna put tack on your horses? Cause a lot of people have tack on the horses. Wait, let me find someone. See, she has like a saddle. Go to this and press default outfit. And now you can customize their outfit. It is diamonds, which you can see I have like none of. But I'm gonna buy a real quick bridal like that one see now brownie has a new halter slash bridal and look i also completed a task for customizing and guess what a thousand booyah okay so if you guys want to know how to get more money than just doing tasks um I'll tell you that, but I, I got distracted. I didn't tell you this. So basically, if you want to, you can change your lead color and you can do patterns or that. I'm going to change mine to the same bridal, bridal color I have. See, look. See, now it matches Brownie's bridal. And I can also wear these helmets, which I'm going to put one on to be safe. Wear helmets, kids. It's It's safe. And these lockers don't do anything. They're kind of just for looks. Quick bench. Probably shouldn't have brought Brownie in. But anyways, like I was saying, if you guys want to farm, I will show you and how to customize your ranch. 
So you wanna go over here to this blue building. This is Charlie's store where you will buy literally like food and everything you will need. And this is a place where I was talking about where you could buy apples and sugar cubes. Oh, Brody's just gonna stay there. But yeah, you can buy sugar cubes for 12 coins and apples. But if you want to farm, you can also buy the seeds. And there's potato seeds. Yeah, there, there is quite a lot of seeds for different seasons. I would recommend the potato seeds if you first joined the game. But I would also, but I also recommend doing the season because that's what you will get the most coins for. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do like three potato seeds. That seems safe. Okay, so now press that like location button type of thing this is where you teleport and you want to press the home and look you're at your house so this these are where you're gonna farm everything and if you don't like where they are you can press edit ranch and you can press farm and you can move these around if you don't like where they are i'm okay with where they are so i'm just gonna leave that there but this is where I plant my potato seeds. Okay, that was all. But yeah, this is how you plant your potato seeds. But they won't grow without water. So you want to take your watering can out and then water. And in a few in-game days, they should be big plants. And then you will harvest the potatoes and take them to the supermarket. This is where you want to select your horses. So I only have one right there. Select horse. And then if you want to close the door, close the door. And then open the door. And if your horse is like running out of energy, you're going to want to press the sleep button here. Yeah. And then wake up. But for right now, I'm going to show you where the supermarket is, where you will sell your potatoes or other plants um, once you harvest them. It's really simple. Once they're like, all, once you can't water them anymore, just press harvest, and that's when you harvest them, and you will bring them over to the supermarket. You also buy seeds here, but I don't recommend that because they're more expensive here, and it's the exact same stuff. So you want to talk to him, and you can sell your stuff. Like I have more poop. Yeah, that's where you sell everything that you don't want. You can also buy a new backpack for like a higher amount of space. You can also buy milk. But I think I've covered everything very important. There are like uh, ice cream, there's beaches, there's pizza places, there's cows. There's an indoor arena, poop pile, everything. This game's so fun. I hope you guys continue to watch my videos. Like... Again, thanks so much for all the support. I cannot thank you guys enough. And I think I've covered everything. If I missed something, just comment what you want to know and I will reply and hopefully give you a good answer. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye. Ryan Little. <laughs> Oh,